Hey everybody, this is Larry. This is one of uh, one of the prompts I saw for the bi-weekly contest twenty nine. Uh, I'm gonna put the explanation in the beginning, and then I'm gonna do the live coding of it afterwards. Let me know what you think about this format. I'm still playing with it, and here we cool. Q three longest subarray of ones after deleting one element. Uh, yeah, so this is sliding window. Um, the tree, the key. In there. So with sliding window, I always talk about invariance. Um, and this is sliding window with invariant because you know that if you're having a, a window from a left pointer and a right pointer or two finger algorithm, you want to call it that. Uh, if you have two fingers and two pointers, um, every, inside the everything in between, you have to maintain the invariant that there's almost, there's at least, oh sorry, there's, a, there's at most one zero. Uh, meaning anytime there's two zeros, you keep on subtracting from the left until the at most one zero. And then and then you just do um and then you kinda keep track of the number of elements and then you take the max minus the one that you remove. So that's how I got this formula, right minus left minus one, because that's just the number of elements in between minus the one in the middle. Uh and here we, we keep track of the fact that uh current which is the current number of zeros has to be at uh, at most one, because if it's two, then it, then it violates uh, this condition. Um, and why is it at most one? Because if it's one, then that's the number you delete. If it's zero, you just delete any ones because there's no zero. So that's kind of the reasoning. Uh, it's O of n times and O of one space, O of n because we just go through the way at most ones. Uh, you can see, even though there's two while loops, uh, the right goes, we count the right side at most, you know, like this only happens once for every element on the, um, for every element in the array. This also happens only once for element every element in the array because we always increment left way. Right? So another way to think about it is we increment left uh, n times, we increment right n times, so it has to be all of n, um, and we don't use uh, that. We don't use. We use all of one extra space, so this should be pretty good. Um, yeah. So this is O of n time, O of one space. A sliding window, pretty important. Uh, comes up all the time in interviews and at least for the co competitive programming contests. So definitely practice it. <laughs> Longest subarray of ones after one element. So for this problem, uh, as soon as I saw it, I knew it was sliding windows. Um, and that is just moving the you know, you have a left pointer and if you have a right pointer, you, you're just moving it left and right. The invariant is that you have to keep the number of zeros to, to one zero or zero zeros. Um, and that's pretty much, you know, what, what you're going to see is just me kind of stop uh, doing it uh, for a second. Um, but yeah. Uh, yeah, so this one in like two or three minutes, so it's pretty straight. And I, I think I was taking my time to type it slowly because I was just, but I knew exactly what I wanted to for this problem. Um, yeah, and basically, the, as I described earlier on, hopefully, because I think I flipped the order these days. Um, oh, but if you're watching the live video, the explanations later. If you're watching the explanation, then it may be before, depending on where I cut it. But either way, so the invariant is such that, yeah, uh, you just keep, you know, if we see a zero, then we have to we keep track and we're like, okay, there, there are one more zeros, right? And then any time we have two zeros, we have to move the left point of it to until we get rid of that extra zero. And that, and every step of the way, every step where we have at most one zero, we just keep track of the length and then see which is one is the longest. And that's basically what I end up doing. Uh, yeah.
Yeah, I, I thought that there may be an issue with running time because I click on submit and it took a long time to to actually run. <laughs> Yeah, and I was like, mm, is this, this shouldn't, like, I, and at this point, I was just like, maybe my while loops are wrong, because why would it take so long? But then as soon as I accept, it's okay. 